my lovelies. It is Wednesday. It is reset day. If you are new here, hi, I am Chazel's Renee, and thank you so much for joining me on this reset day upload. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, hi my loves, how are you guys doing? What do you guys have planned for this weekend? I want to know in the comments. It is hump day, we only have a couple more days until it is the weekend, and I just want to know what you guys have planned, what are some major events that you guys are going to do this weekend? Let me know in the comments. So if you can see, we have the beautiful Princess Tiana joining us today for this reset day. And you know what reset day is. That is where we check my results for last week's Dream Snap Challenge. And then we take a look at what new items we have in the premium store for this week as well as stopping by Scrooge's store to see if he has blessed me with some new items for today. But anyways, let's get this video started. So we are going to start off by checking my results for the, I think it's the Sports Savvy Dream Snap. And I am not going to lie guys, I am so scared to check this because I did not like last week's challenge. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, I didn't take time to do my build, even though it was an outfit challenge. Um, I still didn't feel comfortable with the build setup, so I know I'm going to do pretty poorly for this challenge, so I've kind of prepared myself, but I'm still kind of scared because, guys, I need all the moonstones I can get right now, and I'm just scared to see what I got. But anyways, let's check. Let's wish me luck. All right, let's see what I got for the sports savvy. Uh, not too bad. I got 2,500, or pretty much what I've been getting for the last couple of weeks, which I can't complain about. 2,500 is pretty good, so I will take it. All right. Let me see if I still have my entry saved so you guys could see. If not, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't have it saved. Um, it was pretty much just me standing in front of, I made like a track and field type, type of thing. And then it had me standing next to the barbell that Maui was working out on. And then I had Gaston ah, beside me and he was like my spotter. And then I had like a couple of like workout things on the field. So like a couple of treadmills. Um, I use the Pixar ball for like the workout ball. And then I also set up like a table that had like... God, what are they called? Why can't it? Protein shakes and then like an ice chest and all that stuff. So that's pretty much what my entry was for the sport savvy. So 2,500, not too bad. I can't complain about it. Let's open up this red chest and see if I got any new items, which I hardly ever do. It's a miracle if I do get something new, but... Yeah, like I said, nothing new, but that is okay. Let's go see if Scrooge is going to be a little nicer than our red chest and bless me with something new. Um, I usually get one new item from him a day, and I'm pretty lucky with that because most people don't, so I can't complain about Scrooge and his shop items because he's been pretty good to me. I will take one item over nothing at all, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, I think this is new wallpaper. Yeah, so we got some new wallpaper. It's pretty much like the wallpaper I used in my Valentine's Day speed build. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely click on that video if you need some Valentine's Day inspiration. If you would like to do a Valentine's Day inspired build, definitely check that out. It has a lot of furniture items that I custom created and it's just, it's a cute little setup. So definitely definitely check it out but that is the pretty much the same wallpaper that I used 
Um, only I think the chocolate was yellow honey. So it's nice to know that they have different variations for this like sweet treats wallpaper because it's going to be great in a lot of builds so thank you scrooge for that one we do already have the monsters ink lockers i think i have this i know i already have the vanellope picture we already have wally's Oh my gosh, this rug is so cute. I think um, Sero got this in his last video, and I was like, oh my god, I want that so bad. But yay, we got it. I'm so excited. Kind of goes along with our sweet treats wallpaper. It would look cute together just in a build. So this is a pink comfy rug. And guys, we got two new items today. That's yay! incredible. I'm so lucky. Thank you so much, Scrooge. Um, let's see if we have any more new items. Alright, so two new items today. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, Scrooge. Thank you. I appreciate you. So it was pretty funny. Um, before I actually logged on to do reset day, my husband decided to start i don't know if you guys have even watched or seen the previews for this but he decided to start titans um you know dc titans teen titans he decided to start that like last week and i was kind of iffy about it because i'm like you know i love the original teen titans and i'm like Hopefully they do it justice being live action um, series. I'm going to miss this because I'm talking, but it's okay. He is watching one of the episodes, and I only watched like five minutes of it, and I was invested. I was like, oh my god, I need to watch this now. So I um, started the series from the first episode. That way I can catch up so we can watch it together. But guys, it's so good. Like, I didn't think it was going to be that good because, like I said, I am like, we love Teen Titans. Not the newer Teen Titans. Not that there's anything wrong with the newer Teen Titans, but like the original, you know, 90s. Teen Titans, you know, me and my husband both like it, so. But yeah, he was watching one episode, and I was coming in and kind of just chatting with him, and then I glanced at it for a second, and I was, like, totally invested. So I started that today, and I was watching an episode right before I logged on, and I almost didn't want to stop watching it because it's good. So if any of you are watching it, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. It's a little graphic for kids. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of, like, gore and stuff but it is definitely a good show but let me know if you agree with me i want to know your thoughts if you guys have watched the show or heard of it um definitely let me know so now let's look at the premium shop items oh wow we have a turning red ski outfit um, the Winter Palace is resurfaced again, which is a great palace. I have that. I will show you guys. Um, the Illuminated Dill as well. Deer. Dill. The Illuminated Deer as well. And the Nefarious set. I don't have this set yet, and I kind of wanted it. So, I don't know, guys. I might have to spend Moonstones on that, which I... I mean, I have 10,000 right now, which isn't too bad, so... And then the second page, we have the Whimsical Blue Companion Pack. Wow, so instead of the pink one, they now have a blue option, which is great because if you're doing blue builds, you can use them. And then we also have the Filled Day Ensemble, which is, it's kind of like the one that we got, I think it was last week with Buzz Lightyear's um, little watch and then it had, I think, Ralph's jacket. It's kind of the same, so um, I don't know if I'm going to get the Field Day Ensemble. I might get the Whims Whimsical Blue Companions, but I know that I for sure want this Turning Red Ski outfit. That is too cute and I for sure want the Nefarious set, so... Let's buy the turning red one. So it looks like they're back to doing two pages this week. Um, I don't know if it's just going to be every once in a while that they're going to have two pages available to choose from. Or if it, they just kind of cut it out 
the last couple of weeks, but it's good to see that they have that second page back. Or maybe it's because everybody, I seen like on Reddit and stuff, everybody was asking, hey, are you going to bring back the second page options in the premium shop? So I guess Gameloft was listening to us and they decided to bring that back. So it's good to see that we have two sheets again to choose from. So let me get this nefarious set. And then we have 5,000 left, which I don't think I'm going to buy um, the other items just because I want to make sure to save a little bit of Moonstones. Ugh, I kind of want to get the Whimsical Blue Companions, I'm not going to lie. And I don't know if they're ever going to be back around again, but 2,000 is a lot. Um, I think I will wait on that. So before we take a look at the new outfit and items that I got and the new tool set, let's see what the theme for next week's stream snap is going to be. It's freestyle outfit challenge. Let your personality shine and share your favorite valley outfit. Looks like we have mandatory is calm and wondrous and suggested is lavish and strong so this is actually going to be a lot of fun because it's pretty much hey you guys these are the tags do what you want with them come up with your own outfit come up with your own background so this one's going to be very interesting and this one's going to be interesting to see and it's going to be interesting to see what everybody comes up with so definitely looking forward to that um, let's take a look at all of these new items, and I'm just gonna go out in the sun because it's kind of dark over here, so maybe like right here. Uh, first, let's take a look at the Big Hero 6 outfit, or the Turning Red, I'm sorry. I don't know if maybe it's going to be in costumes. Okay, so Red Panda Ski Suit. And then I think we had like glasses or a hat to go with it. So let's see. Oh my god, this hat is too cute. That is adorable. That is definitely really cute. It's going to look awesome for this year's winter season coming up. I know a lot of people are going to include this in their winter builds and it's also cute because you have May's little Tamagotchi companion on the belt and that is just a cute little touch that they added. If you guys have seen Turning Red you know that May has her little Tamagotchi that she's always carrying and carrying around and it's supposed to be one of the guys like kids that they had together from um what is it Four Town? So that is really cute that they included that. So definitely a really cute outfit. I love it. Um, let's get Tiana's dress back on because she's the one that's joining us today. Alright, and then let's get her tiara back. Perfect. Now let's take a look at those nefarious tools. So I have three tool sets now, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's look at the watering can first. I don't think it really does anything other than it just looks purple and green, but let's see. Oh, okay. So it doesn't do much other than it's purple and it glows green, but still super cute. And again, for the Halloween season, it's going to be awesome for our outfits. So that's the watering can. Let's take a look at the other ones. All right, nefarious shovel.
So the same thing, it's purple and then it just has that green glow on the edge of the shovel. Um, I don't think it does anything, let's see. Yeah, so nothing comes out, what is it, like Bell's Tools? Um, when you get Bell's Tools, they actually have the roses that come out when you're like shoveling or watering, so... I wish it kind of did that, like it would be cool if they made the nefarious tool set, like when you use each one, maybe like little bits of green flames from the Forgotten Lands would come out, that would have been a cool touch, so. So that's the shovel, let's take a look at the pickaxe. No, let's take a look at the fishing rod first since we're already here. Alright, so same thing with the fishing rod again. It's purple and that glowing green and then it looks like at the tip of the rod it actually glows green. So that's pretty cool. But that is the fishing rod. Alright, let's take a look at the pickaxe. Alright, the pickaxe has probably got to be my favorite tool. It just looks really cool. Alright, let's get a close-up look. So yeah, this is probably my favorite tool. It has the glowing green on the ends of the pickaxe. And then it has that cool, like, um, silver metal like design which is really cool and then again just on the handle it's that purple with that glowing green at the end so this is probably my favorite I think that one looks the most coolest and then let's take a look at the phone the phone tools never really have anything distinct to them and I wish they would do more to the phones but let's just look at it and see So actually, the nefarious phone actually glows green, it looks like, which is pretty cool. But let's see if it actually looks like that up close, because sometimes it doesn't. Uh, no, it actually has that, like, glowing green sparkle on it, so that's pretty cool. So that is all of the items that I purchased today. Um, let's do some voting and then I will end this video. Like I said, Wednesdays are my busy days. We have to take our son to all of his therapy appointments. So I'm going to get going on that as soon as we do some voting. But we are actually voting for, um, the... They, it came from outer space theme. And I will quickly show you guys my entry. I was pretty proud of it. The only thing I'm concerned about is it was so hard for me to get that high um, item tag count. I don't know why. I had plenty of um, I had plenty of different items placed out, as you can see, and it wasn't reading all of them. So I don't know if it was just the angle. I don't know if there's some kind of glitch, but my item tag count was not where it should have been for all of the items that I placed place down so I'm kind of worried about that but this is my entry I just had the theme for me was they came from outer space to party on Mars and that is pretty much what I set up I made like a little um, space club theme and then we are actually on the outside part of the club and we have two of our little alien dudes in the back. One is on the turntables spinning some tunes. And then the other guy is making some delicious drinks for us. <laughs> and then we have Eve standing beside me. And then if you guys can see, I have Little Stitch by his ship. And he's actually sitting in one of the space chairs just having a little drink. 
and I'm super happy that I was able to get him sitting and at the same time get a couple of those constellations in the back because if you guys don't know already unfortunately PC is the only game that actually has the stars that appear in the sky which is really unfortunate for us um, switch and Xbox players I don't know about the um, PlayStation players if they are able to get those stars shining in the sky as well or if they're pretty much like us and we don't get that luxury to have those stars but yeah it's pretty rough that we don't get to have those night nice shining stars so hopefully they fix that in the future but I was just happy that I was able to get the constellations and then I actually used Eve's little carnivorous plant um, as one of the po focal points in the foreground and I thought that it just added to it like it could be like a creature sp like sp spawning out or it just looks very alienish to me so that is my entry and that is what we are going to be voting on right now so all right let's do some voting and this is a decor challenge so i want to see a lot of decor items fitting the theme um even though this one is a selfie you can still see a lot of the items that they actually call for in the back and this one looks pretty cute as well we have stitch standing with his little avatar but honestly i think that the right one is speaking to me more just as a futuristic space vibe so i'm going to vote for that one and oh my god this one on the left is amazing oh she even got little eve waving that is too cute so this one is beautiful. You have the purples and they actually fit that space window that I actually had and I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't do a in-house build because I think it could have turned out great and I probably would have got a lot more tags just for the wallpaper and stuff but hey it's too late. Um, I already did my entry <laughs> but this is beautiful. Well done. Whoever did that that is amazing and then we also have the one on the right that is really cute. It has more of like Eve's house vibes so I like this one as well but I like the left one a lot more so I'm gonna vote for left and then we have Eve over here with our little avatar who's wearing a cute little stitch hat and then we have over here on the left it looks like maybe they are in a space craft and then she's kind of like a space princess is what I'm getting the vibe from it so um, this one's really cute I think I'm going to go with left and then hey look we have Rapunzel in space that's different <laughs> um, that's pretty cute I mean that was a good idea to have Rapunzel or any princess in general in space so I like that unique creativity and then on the left we just have our little space cadet here and then it looks like we have some items in the back just for its uniqueness I'm going to go right because that's pretty funny and that's pretty creative so let's go right and then both of these look pretty similar decor wise but they have different outfits so let's take a look at the left first um, I love that it's like glowing yellow and orange and her outfit is really cute again it's giving that space princess vibe and then over here on the right I love this one her outfit choice is similar to mine and then you have the little aliens in the back just enjoying some drinks and then just a bunch of Eve's um, decor in the back and then as well as Stitch's ship which is really cute because those aliens could actually have been using that spacecraft and that's just a cute idea so I'm going to go with right and then I think these next two are going to be our last ones guys but oh my god the right one just caught my eye instantly this is gorgeous that is just amazing so they made it look like our little robot buddy here is like he just 
sent off that little glowing orb is what it looks like to me so that is unique and creative they actually also use the night thorns in the back this looks like it was used in the forgotten lands which is a good idea because it gives like that desolate um space planet vibe um just full of darkness and even though it's a dark biome they've got it lit up with all of those lights and like those little spring um materials that you get when you're looking for them with our staffs if you have the dlc but it just looks amazing and again for being a dark biome this is very lit up so i give them lots of props for doing that that is amazing um let's look at the left the left is a little simple so I'm definitely going to go with right and then this is going to be our last one and I usually typically like a lot of you I know whatever picture you gravitate towards when you're voting that's usually the one that you're gonna pick and for me it was the right one just because there's a lot more items and then they also have some white thrown in there to mix it up with the blue um, the left is not bad at all. It is super cute. Again, they're a little space cadet. I just almost feel like they should have maybe incorporated some more plants or maybe some more futuristic items. So we are going to go with right. And that is going to be the end of today's upload. And again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for choosing my videos every week to do your reset, reset day, um, get your reset day information from. I appreciate you all. And if you are new to the channel and you like this video and you like my reset day videos, then definitely subscribe because there is going to be one every week. And then also, if you Sundays. want, I know, me too, Olaf. Oh, little guy, so cute. And then also, if you want to learn how to make this Tiana Touch of Magic dress, then you definitely want to subscribe too, because I have that coming up in the future as well. But um, just a note for my subscribers this week. So I decided, guys, that I'm going to add a new game to the channel. So we are going to be playing Polya on Friday. So definitely turn in tune into that video on Friday. Um, it's a great game. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I definitely want to incorporate that to our schedule. So look for that on ah, Friday. The sun's shining almost as bright as my money. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. And on that note, bye guys. Until the next one. Bye.